Hey there, welcome again to another series of your everyday web and software tips. Today, I'm going to share with you five simple hacks on Google site that you did not know about before. And I know this will blow your mind. So without wasting time, let's get started. So tip number one is to do with background images. So I'm on the Google site's web page and I want an image that can stretch along this section of the website. I don't want it to be in the center like this. How do we go about it? First off, let's delete this image here. Let's go for a text box. Now in the text box, we can type anything we want, but in this instance, we don't want to do that. Just hit enter and go to the side and click on the section colors. Go to images, upload or select any image you want. Click on the image, open. And as you can see, the image is filling the whole section as we want. And for, from here, we can type any text that we want onto this background image and maybe probably center it, give it a larger font. And as you hit enter, you can see the image enlarging to suit the size of the section. So this is how we add a background image on Google Sites. Tip number two is to hide the footer. When you scroll down on any Google Sites website, right at the bottom is where you find the footer. Now suppose you don't want the footer to show, this is how we can hide it. Just go down to this section, to this icon here, and just click on, click on it. The footer is now disabled and can be seen. So when you preview the website, and then we scroll down, you can see it has no footer section here. Tip number three is custom themes. If you don't like the color schemes or the default color theme that Google Sites gives you, you can change it and use your own colors. This is how you do it. Go to themes here on the right section and click on create theme. You can name the theme, whatever name you want to give it. Let's just say, I want to call it red. Now let's go to next and go to custom colors. Now from here, as you can see, you can put in your own color codes, which um, the, co the color codes that you want to use for your website. And it will be automatically saved as your custom um, theme for the theme you want to use on Google site. Now, when you move on to the next, you can also select the fonts you want to use, the, the, the header font, the body font, and after that, you can easily create your theme. That's how you can easily create a custom theme for your Google site website. Tip number four is the announcement banner. So this is how you create an announcement banner on Google sites. Head over to the settings icon here. I head down to announcement banner. Click on show banner. You can change the color of the banner, but let's just maintain it for now. And then type in a message that says get 15% discount. Get 15% discount this May. And just give it a button label that says get it now and we can also link the button to any of our pages so if you have created a separate page to handle this this discount offer you can just link it to that page click on open a new tab and once it's done you can either show this only on the home page or show it on all the pages once you're okay with the settings just click away from the window and you can see we have a banner showing up here if you preview the website you can see we have the announcement banner showing at the top. Now, the last but not least is how to create a slider image. Now, if you want to create a slider image for your header, go to image carousel, click on upload image, select the images that you want to upload, click open. Once the images upload, just insert them and you can drag the 
sides of the slider or the image cast field so that they stretch up until the desired sizes that you want. And as you can see, we have two buttons here that shows that there are more um, images or there's an image carousel here. Now, when we preview this, you can see you have an image carousel here or image slider here, which you can change or toggle through. That's how you create a slider on Google Sites. I hope you enjoyed these five simple hacks using Google Sites. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and also hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so. You can also hit the notification icon so that you are notified of any new videos I'll be uploading every Friday. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video.